Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Marta and today we're going to talk all about Sephora and the upcoming VIB sale. Um, as you guys know or may not know, the VIB sale is coming up soon. It's somewhere in April. Let me get the date. I'll pop it in the screen somewhere, but uh, for Rouge, with 20% off, it will start on the 5th of April until the 15th and then VIB will start the 9th and Insider will also start the 9th. So um, the day of filming is 17th of March. So we have a bit of time left. So in this video, I just want to go over my favorites, my recommendations. As you may or may not have seen on my channel, I'm trying to do a low buy year. So I'm not buying any makeup or I'm trying to minimize it as much as I can. Also for skincare, hair care, fragrance, basically anything across the board. But I did want to film this video just because I just want to recommend you all the favorite products that I've been using over the past months slash even year for some of these. Um, I just want to preface that just because there's a sale, it doesn't mean that you should spend your money. Obviously, you can do whatever you want, but from personal experience, I had spent way too much money in the past and I wouldn't want anyone to do that. In this video, I'm just trying to go over my truly favorite, favorite products that I have been using over the past months. I don't have something for every single category and that's because if I don't have a favorite for a category, I don't just want to put something in the video to fill it up. So I'm literally only going to show you guys my ultimate favorites that have been working well for me. I have something for hair, fragrance, skincare, and makeup to go over. Let's just go right into the video. So we're gonna start with hair care. For hair care, I have two favorites. Uh, the first one being Diggy Zoo Heat Protectant Spray. This is a truly, truly favorite of mine. And if you, I, you cannot see it, but it's like up until here right now, I'm like gonna finish this up soon. It smells so, so good. You should go in store and smell this. I love this scent so much. But yeah, this is from Gizu. It's a pricey heat protectant, but this is the only one I've been using for the past months. And my hair is looking amazing. It looks healthy. And I just love the scent. I love everything about this. Um, the reason why I'm recommending this now in the seal is because it's a pricey item. I think it's around $40 right now, which I think I paid like $35 back then when I first bought this. But yeah, this on sale, I'm probably going to repurchase myself just because it's like more than halfway done. And I really like to have this in my collection. So this is my first recommendation. And the second product I have is from Way. This is their hair oil. As you can see, I'm almost done with this. I've been using this for the past two years now. It's been lasting me such a long time. I always put this at the end of my hair and it looks amazing. Again, it smells amazing. Way and Gisu are one of my are two of my favorite brands for my hair. But yeah, this one has been working amazingly for me again as you can see i'm almost done with this and i'm probably gonna repurchase this again i do have the gizu hair oil too so we're probably gonna work on that one first before i purchase a new hair oil but this one is definitely one that i recommend the next product is fragrance i only have one fragrance to show you right now because there's only one i have a lot of fragrances as you can see behind me um but again we're trying to cut back on spending and this is a fragrance that i've been loving lately and it's the ysl Libre perfume um you can see there's a bit of a dent in here. I don't try to use this as much just because obviously it's a pricey perfume, but it smells so good. And it lasts on my skin for so long. Oh, it smells amazing. Um, I also put this on like my clothes. When I put perfume on, I just do it like all over and it stays on my clothes for like a few days after. Um, so this is my favorite fragrance right now. This is my go-to right now. And I absolutely love this. 20% off of a fragrance is such a good deal. I know if you're 15 or 10%, it might not be as much, but for 20% off, I definitely recommend looking into perfumes if you need one. Then we go into skincare. I have a few items for skincare that really have changed my skin. I used to have so much like random acne on my face, not like badly. These are a few products that have been really helping me. The first one, my tried and true, which I'm definitely gonna repurchase during the Sephora BB sale, is the Ole Hendrickson Dark Spot Toner. This is a value size that I got some time ago. This, this is 300 ml and 10 fluid ounce. This is such a big size. This is a travel size. You see the difference? This works wonders for me. This is the only toner I've been using for the past years and works amazingly. I had so many like dark spots on my skin because of all the acne that I had. And this has been really helping me get rid of that and just clean out my face. I'm definitely going to repurchase this during the sale because this is definitely something that I need in my skincare routine. And the second product is the Ordinary Niacinamide 10% and Zinc 1% Serum. This is amazing. If I don't use this, my acne will come through again. It's insane. I didn't use this for some time and it actually saw a difference on my skin. So I need the Niacinamide. I don't know what's in here. I mean, Niacinamide obviously, but... This is magic to my skin. So definitely recommend looking into this. Again, this works for my skin, but it might not work for yours. So you should figure out like what works best for you. 
And this is a value size, by the way. This is bigger than the regular one, but I'm going to repurchase this during the sale. Currently, I, I don't know if you can see, but I'm up until here. So definitely recommend looking into a serum that works well for you. But this wonders for my skin. The next product I have that I think is considered skincare, I wouldn't necessarily call this like a makeup item, um, but it's a Tarte 28 Daily Rescue Facial Spray. This is an amazing product too. I'm up halfway. Again, you can't really tell, but I've been loving this. This basically is a spray that refreshes your skin, but also kills all the bacteria, which is great. Sometimes there's just days where I feel like my skin is just dirty like after a whole day of working doing stuff moving around touching my face i just feel like i need an, a spray like this to just you know feel like clean again and this really really helps with that this might not work for everyone but i've been really really liking this something that just cleans my skin this is my go-to so definitely recommend this one the next skincare item that i really really recommend is the touch up rice wash this is a value size my go-to face wash i cannot do without this again because i have a value size i have not repurchased this for a long time but this is my go-to this really cleans up my skin it has like little particles that are like a mini scrub to your face in a sense and works amazing honestly anything from touch the dewy line so this one and the jar I love this is my go-to and i absolutely love this no nothing else to say about this just an amazing face wash so then the last item in the skincare category which i think is considered skincare or at least i would um but it's a summer friday's lip balm this is my go-to lip balm right now every time i go out for a walk for errands before i go to bed any any time basically i do something i put this lip balm on it doesn't dry my lips it looks good and this especially the one in the green in the mint is really nice and these are kind of like a trendy item and they're probably our cheaper alternatives but i just love using these i have this in like three other colors and i love them so definitely recommend if you're looking for a new lip balm and that is everything for that category now we're going to go into makeup which is my biggest category that's where i have the most products so let's go into it i'm to do this in order so the first item is this wonder glow by charlotte tilbury this is a primer um this is not i think this is similar to the airbrush flawless filter but i have that one and i don't really gravitate towards that one i've been using this one a lot um it's basically like a shiny shimmery primer for on your skin and this gives the most beautiful glow ever i've been using this non-stop um it's up until here right now this item is in my project pen and i've been using it a ton and actually fell in love with it again i always put a primer on when i do makeup but this one especially just gives the most beautiful shine ever underneath and i just love this item so much again you might probably find something cheaper uh but this one really works well for me and i really really love it and my current favorite foundation that i really recommend is the makeup forever hd skin i know they came out with a different version they might be more hydrating i'm not sure but the reason why I put this in here, because this is hydrating for my skin. This does not dry my skin. Um, you can build it up to have it more full coverage, but you can also have it lightweight on your skin. And it just works both ways. Obviously, you need a good base, but this one works really well. And again, you can build it up, you can make it lightweight, and it honestly caters to anyone. So if you're looking for a new foundation, this is the one I would recommend you for sure. So then I have two concealers. Uh, the first one is the Soft Matte Complete Concealer from NARS. This is the one I use for blemishes when I have breakouts or anything. I just put my finger, just blend it lightly over that spot. You don't want to use too much because it could dry out or it could be really visible on the skin. But if you just put a little bit of this and just blend it out with your finger, your blemish is gone. This is such high coverage. And that's why it's really considered to use it as a spot concealer. Because if you put this all over your face or on big areas, you're going to notice that. So that's this one. And then the next concealer I have is the Quickie by Urban Decay. I actually love my Too Faced Born This Way concealer. I ran out of that one, so I went for this one. And this one works as well. I love my Born This Way, so if you're looking for another concealer, that one is one of my favorites too. But I've been using this one lately, and this one has such high coverage. You don't need a big amount, like just a little bit under your eyes. Blend it out, and it will cover anything. Amazing. And then it comes with a brush, which... You know is whatever but if you're on the go and you need to quickly do your makeup and you don't want to use your fingers because they're dirty just put this like that and your concealer is done so perfect for on the go too which is another plus but this is really high coverage and i really like this for my face then for powder i only have one and that's the pat mcgrath i can't even read what this is 
can't read what this says because it's so damaged. But I think it's a Sublime Under Eye Perfecting Powder. I just guessed that. I'm not sure. You're going to see it in the screen what it is. But it's this black little container and it has the powder. Look at that. It's almost done. This is my third container. I already have a backup of this in my drawer, which I bought the last still, which shows that this lasts longer than you think. But I love this under eye powder. This is the only powder I use on a day-to-day -day basis. I don't need much powder because I don't want to make my skin dry. This underneath the eye and just any spots where I put like concealer, I put this on and looks flawless. This is my go-to powder that I use and I honestly wouldn't need anything else besides this one. Then I also have a blush favorite and that is the hourglass one in diffused heat. Honestly, I just grabbed this one because it's my go-to right now. But I love hourglass blushes and they stay on your skin for so long. They're not as pigmented when you swatch them, but when you put them on your skin, amazing. Um, these last two also for a very long time, I'm saying like hours. I always overdo my blush a bit. So during the day, you know, it's the first thing that fades. So my blush still stays on my skin and this one actually stays on the whole day. They actually have mini sets of these, which I would recommend because I've had these for five years or something and they're nowhere near a pen. So if you're looking for an hourglass blush, try the mini size because these last you way too long. I also have a favorite highlighting palette and that is just your Backstage Glow Face palette. The reason why I recommend you this one is because it has four different shades. So you could multi-use this for different things too. These top two are usually the ones that I gravitate towards. So just mix them and just put them on my face. Beautiful highlight. Like these look amazing. And then you also have a blush topper and a highlighting topper. You can use this as eyeshadows too. You get so much for what's in this palette. It is a pricey one. That's why I would recommend it during the sale. This is just amazing. I love that it has four shades. You can mix and match, do whatever you want. And also use them for different purposes. So definitely recommend this one. And then we're getting down to the last two products on this list. Again, I like I said, I don't have something for every single category because I just don't have a favorite. Um, but for mascara, I do. And that is the, this is a mini size, but it's a rare beauty mascara. Love this. I've been using so many different mascaras in rotation. Every time I use these, I love how my lashes look. I'm not sure what the price of the full size. I haven't purchased it yet because I've had so many minis to go through. But this one, love it. My eyelashes look amazing. They just are like in the best position they could possibly be. Um, so I am going to buy a full size of this one in the sale. I just need this because this one is about to be done. But yeah, definitely recommend. And then the last product in this video is my setting spray. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. And this is a tried and true for a lot of people. This has been out on the market for such a long time. I had never tried it. I've always been a fan of the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray and I still am to this day. But I wanted to try something new and that's when I bought this one. I bought this one in a set and I really like how my makeup stays on for such a long time. I've been using this when I go out all day or when I have an event or like a dinner or something. Skin looks amazing. Um, and it also gives like a little bit of a shine. Just, I don't know, it's just a setting spray, but it really works well. And I know some people don't use setting spray. I only use it when I really want to make it stick for a long time. Like when I go out for dinner, when I leave the house the whole day, something like that. But this is my go-to right now and I really, really love it. I think most of you have probably already tried this, but I definitely recommend. So that's everything for my recommendation video. These are all of my products that I've been loving lately and also the ones that I'm probably going to repurchase too. Um, I'm planning on not going crazy this year. I'm literally going to put myself a budget and not spend more than that because we don't need much, honestly. Like, our skin doesn't need much. So, yeah, that's it. Let me know what you guys are looking at to buy in the sale, what you have in your cart, if you prepped anything, and what you're really excited to get. I would love to know uh, and chat with you guys in the comments. And other than that, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and then I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Thank you.